Roy Daniels is up. If college football is canceled for the year, do you think there is enough tape of players from 2019 to grade them for the 2021 draft? The answer is there's going to have to be. It's it's not an ideal situation, and I think maybe the, the players who are going to be hurt the most are some of those older players who maybe they were finally primed to take over a starting role who didn't have much of an opportunity. Maybe, like for example, you could have like a Christian Barmore, lineman out of Alabama. He might choose to go pro. He played like 20 snaps a game, but if he played this year, he might might have, might have been a true first-round pick. So I'm, it's tricky. I'm fascinated to see if the NCAA grants extra mm -hmm. eligibility if a lot of those guys will just go back. They should. And they probably should, unless you're a Trevor Lawrence type or one of these guys who, quite frankly, has already opted out, the, like the Rashad the, Bateman. The, you know, the, the top 10 percenters, the first-round picks, they're going to be fine. Yeah, they could just go. But, like, if you if the Joe Burrow, if this happened last year for Joe Burrow, he ain't going round yeah, one. He might not even the draft. You're Kyle Trask. Go back to Florida. Yeah. Use hashtag draft, easiest way to get your questions on the show. If Lawrence had come out last year, would Cincy have still taken Burrow? This has been up for debate. It's a really tough question to answer. I, I think Lawrence is a better raw prospect. I, I think you're right. Burrow was more developed. He's also older than yep. Trevor Lawrence, and that yep. often gets overlooked. I don't know which route they, they would have gone. Um, you wouldn't have had a wrong route to go. Both are fantastic prospects. Maybe the, the local kid helps you out. Burrow was Burrow was better than Lawrence last year, so I, I think it would have been Burrow, but I, I honestly don't know. They, they both would have been really close based on what we've been seen from Lawrence so far. From all things Mavs, where will Chuba Hubbard and Tylen Wallace go in this draft? I like both of these players, Tom, out of Oklahoma State in the Big 12. I think if Wallace stays healthy last year, he's probably in that Jalen Rager range late in the first round. Now, off the ACL, it'll be curious to see where he lands. Wallace is, is built like a speedster receiver, but he, he actually won a lot with just being tougher and stronger than guys, which, which I actually kind of like. He's more in a, in quick a than fast. Yeah, really I good juke moves in space. Hubbard, I think, I think, will be a top five back. He's got some speed. There are some times that I, I don't know if the vision is where it is, but that should come with some more development. I think Hubbard probably goes round two, depending on just okay. how, how, the, how the backs you know end up turning out with well, teams don't invest the same way that they used to. Wallace, I want to see him healthy. If he is healthy, I think he is at least a, a, a day two guy. Yeah. I don't think he sneaks around because it's another strong receiver class, but I think both those guys I, here, their name is called in the top nine. I think picks. he's anywhere from round one to round four, depending sure. on the injury. That's fair. So shout out your favorite college team. All things Mavs appears to be an Oklahoma State fan. He, of course, is. It's our basketball guy here, Jimmy Crowder. Hater Jimmy. Producer, Hater Jimmy, exactly. Producer Dylan is also. Uh, Oklahoma State grad. I'm a TCU alum. Tom Downey claims to be a, an alum from the real Miami. I am an alum from the real Miami. Just won a national title with them in my dynasty. So Derek King's your quarterback? No, Miami uh, uh, in Oxford, Ohio. Uh -huh. The the original Miami. The fake Miami. The real Miami. Okay. So shout out your favorite team. Use the hashtag draft is OT. Can Justin Fields truly contend for QB1? I have heard he has some accuracy issues and doesn't have all the NFL skills, but of course he has major room to grow. Some people have him at QB1. I, I think he's a little bit closer to quarterback three than quarterback one. I would agree with but that. I'm, but you're really splitting hairs at that point. All of these guys in a given class could easily be the top quarterback. Today. Like If any of the guys had come out in that Trubisky um, Holmes draft, if you're they, they would have gone one. If you're Ryan Pace, Trey Lance is going number one. So I, I, there, are, there is stuff for Fields to work on. I think if he has another 41-3 year and the film backs it up, yeah. yeah, he might end up being quarterback one. All of these guys, maybe less so Lance, just because there's only so much he can prove against that level of competition if he gets to play this year. But if Lawrence and Fields are able to play, it'll be neck and neck for the Heisman and that number one overall pick pretty much the entire year. I like this question coming in from Jaden. Will With Rondell Moore opting out, will it hurt his draft stock? Normally, I would say no, but he really only has one season of tape, and it's two years old. And it was great tape, though. Yes. For, Moore's in a unique spot where, of the guys who have opted out, he was, at least so far, with, of course, subject to change, he was the guy I wanted to see the most because he was so great in 2018, and then he was just kind of banged up a lot in 2019. It's a great receiver class, but he's so electric, I don't think he's going to fall very far. Teams covet that. In terms of choosing to opt out, I don't think that will carry an impact beyond, hey, 
he hasn't played football for a year, which might not matter in the end. I mean, we're talking about a guy at 18 years old when Purdue upset Ohio State was by far the best, the best player field. on the field. Which is unheard of. That is that is ridiculous when you're talking about an Ohio mm-hmm. State squad that had like 15 draft picks. For today's show, we got T-shirts available for you guys, all of your favorite NFL teams. These player shirts are available at chatsports.com slash NFL shirts. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. We got rookie ones. We got Cam Newton ones, new players on new teams. You can find them at that link, chatsports.com slash NFL shirts. Got some other deals for you guys, too. I've always loved the short sleeve hoodies. It's a good look unless you're Bill Belichick. I don't I don't mind it. I prefer the long sleeve, but I, I like the, the look of them. I like the way the hoodie looks overall. So I think it's good. They've also got some Washington football team gear. Shirts and hoodies, many of them on sale. Could be a collector's sale. item, by the way. It, it very well could be. Buy it now and then, then get the new one in, in a year or whatever it ends up being. Exactly. Chatsports.com slash NFL shirts. Check out that link in the comments and in the description. Who takes Jamar Chase? This question coming in from Aiden. Uh, whoever needs a receiver in the top ten? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a great feel for just where teams are going to be drafting, but yeah. I, I think he's receiver one. I think Rashad Bateman is worthy of having some of that discussion around him as well. But I, I'm a big fan of what we saw from Chase. If we do get an SEC season, please don't overthink him when all of a sudden his production gets cut in half because he's gone from Joe Burrow to not Joe Burrow. To uh, like, Miles it, it, Brennan. It, it, it's not going to be as good. I'm sorry. Yeah, the production's going to dip, but he's a great prospect. So use hashtag draft here. Julio, Gregory Russo, he's the a Miami guy who opted out, and Micah Persons, or Parsons to Miami in the first. Um, well, Miami to Miami, if, if yeah, Russo ends up there, that um, would be fun. It's, it's a plausible idea. Russo is, is a very weird prospect. I don't want to spend too much time, but he's probably the first edge off the board. There's some ups and downs in his game. The issue with getting those two guys is I think they both go top 15. I don't think Miami gets two top 15 picks. I don't think Houston is drafting that early. Now, if they are, sure, possible. It would fill some nice needs there. It's a fun pipe dream, but I think it's just that more of a dream than a true reality right now. Now, if you guys love the NFL Draft, subscribe to Chat Sports. Look, don't take our word for it. The numbers will tell you the story. Mm-hmm. It's the best NFL Draft coverage on YouTube. Hit that big red subscribe button. Two years running, or is it three years running? All We've been number years, one baby. on the internet during the NFL Draft, but our pre-draft coverage is what drives us to get to that number. Mm-hmm. Hit that red subscribe button. Tom's breaking it down. Me and Mitch are involved as well. We'll slowly increase our coverage mm-hmm. as we get closer and closer to April's NFL Draft. Hit that red button now. That way you know exactly when our draft videos go up on the channel. A couple more draft questions here. Is college football done for this year and maybe more? I, look, the future of the sport look, it, the future is, of very, college athletics. is very much, I don't want to say in doubt, but it will look different if there's not a fall season. Problem. Whatever, Whenever we get back to normal, College football and college sports are not going to be the same. Probably not. I, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like, but it's not going to be what we used to know, that the players have taken advantage of this and, and they're they're trying to unionize right now, which yep. I actually think makes some sense for them. Hopefully we can get better leadership at the top. I think that's the, the, the com- true fundamental root cause of all this. Could a commissioner be coming this? in the sport? I, Who knows? The, I think that those are options there. So the, I don't, I'm not convinced it's done this year or, or forever, but whenever, whatever we get is going to be different, both short-term and long-term. Jason Ozzy used the hashtag draft. Do you see the Patriots drafting Trey Lance or Kyle Trask? And do you think if Cam Newton is hurt, do you think the Patriots taking Trevor Lawrence instead? So I, I assume the Newton part, if he's hurt and they go like 3-13. and 13. If, if, if they tank for Trevor. If they're in Trevor range, they're, they're, they're going to take him. Um, I think Lance is pretty clearly a better prospect than Kyle Trask. Yeah. I think the issue for New England is I see three really good quarterbacks. The rest are kind of meh. If you don't get one of those top three, don't you just roll with Stidham, Stidham at that point? You try Stidham. So yeah. it's possible maybe Trask has a true breakout year, but I'm not really sure where the pitcher's going to be drafting. So it's a little tough to truly get in order. If they're drafting late round one, they're not getting Lance or, or, or Trevor, and that's not where Trask should go right now. Now, Trevor Lawrence is arguably the best player in college football, but we'll leave it up to you guys. Who is the best player in college football, and did he already opt out in Micah Parsons? Um, potentially. I, I think Parsons is, is a very valid option. Panay Sewell is the best, by the way. Uh, Panay Sewell, I think, but makes, no one cares about makes some line. sense. 
I'll, how about Derek Stingley at LSU? Okay. He's his, his year, now he's not draft eligible, but his year was awesome. Jamar Chase. <laughs> like, it, it was it was a truly impressive season. The Jamar Chase, I think, is also kind of in there. So, you can go a lot of different routes. Maybe you just go Trevor Lawrence in the end. The boring answer is Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. He'll probably win the Heisman. It's, probably, Heisman the, it's probably the right answer as well. Yeah. I, 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 I see Chase. I see Sewell in there as well. Patrick Sertain. I don't think he's the best corner in the SEC, but he is the best corner for Bama. I don't hate that one, but most of what we mentioned, Harrison, can be the top option. Mark Kearns using hashtag draft. Do the Packers front office look like geniuses with their pick from earlier this year now or not? No. No. I'm not sure what, what's no. changed on that front. Why would they look like geniuses now? P please comment further, they, they Mark. Didn't, they didn't go all in when they should have? Like, yeah. I mean, maybe in a year. If, look, if Jordan Love hits, the answer is yes. Yeah, the answer but, was always going to be yes if Jordan Love yeah. ends up panning out. But for this year, it's no because he's not playing this year and Aaron Rodgers is, you know, in the later part of his prime. Yeah. 